Hello everybody, my name is Tubusblad and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Settlement Showcase Series and this time we are here at Nordhagen Beach and uh, let's begin with the tour here at well, traditional spawn, I moved the spawn point so here's the original housing where you find the first three settlers and Piper is having an issue with the flamingo okay uh, <laughs> Um, so there's the farm. I don't remember if I put down another one. Um, there is, who I actually don't know. The spawn points. I would think there's, I think there might be two or three. I'm trying to remember just from attacks. Not so much like the locations themselves, but like the attacks. Uh, hmm. Seems like I have like next to no defense for 36. Not enough though. Um, but I, I know that the spawn points. One is out here on this main road. Somewhere along. Here is one. Then they can also. Well, no. I don't know. Because then they can spawn over here too, out behind. Out behind here. And then there is another spawn. Just from my own personal experience, I don't think it might be correct. It is like right here on the beach. I've seen a super mutant attack here before. But uh, yeah, so let's track back a little bit. So I added the Slocum's Joe just because I felt like it has been like trying to like proportionalize like where I put a Slocum's Joe. The last one was. Uh, Taffington, so then I thought, oh, I'll put one here at Nordhagen. Plus, it's on a different side of the map, so put a Slocum's Joe. And yeah, I think it's probably the smallest one I've got, but that's alright. I uh, got my Buzz Bites on display, as well as the mannequin in the back. Those Coffee maker. Bastards sure hit us hard. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Then I figured I would put the window over here. You get a nice view of downtown with the Boston Airport and the Prid one. So, I thought that was nice. And then, uh, here's the housing situation, which is just... Oh, had a little frame hiccup there. Uh, just basic on that. Two, <laughs> two flame boy on the decorations. Um, uh, our junkyard dog. And I got a few scrapping stations and our Brahmin selling population software. Um, I did put down a water purifier, the 40. And then I did put down a secondary farm because obviously that first one back there is not going to cut it. So I put down another one. Um, I don't think for whatever reason the carrots were not willing to I for some reason thought that was Sean I'm like no I don't have Sean um <laughs> but uh yeah I don't think the carrots were willingly to go into the sand if they were they were like very picky so then I just put down the uh farm plots down so that's that. I have no idea what some of these settlers are doing. Are you even assigned? You are. You're not doing anything. Okay. Um. And then the giant piece. The centerpiece. So, again, another little marketplace. Um. I really like how I did this. I put, uh. Using the warehouse tile set in I th I'm gonna guess it's probably wasteland workshop um, yeah I built a warehouse I I don't recall ever really using the warehouse in prior uh, files and yeah in prior files but I don't know I really like this tile set I don't know what it is I think it's probably just because it's so clean compared to 
uh, the wood tile set. But and then you get like large open windows like this. Oh, this one window's kind of this this window's bugging me. There we go. Um, <laughs> I just happened to notice. But yeah, it's just like I don't know. You can really you could really do a lot with the warehouse. Um, with the warehouse tile set, and I really like it. Uh, anyway, so we got weapons and armor over here. We got general on clothing. I don't have a doctor. Oh. Huh. I don't know why I don't have a doctor. Did I ever build a stand? That's interesting. <laughs> Apparently, I think my settlers are much hardier than I give them credit for. No, I did not ever make a clinic. Why? Huh. I'm curious. Do I have an unassigned settler that I can put as a doctor? I would think I do. Nope. Okay. Well, this settlement doesn't have a doctor. Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> Alright. No doctors here. Uh, if you need one, you gotta go. You gotta go either to County Crossing or Bunker Hill, I guess. Um, so I got a barber. <laughs> And all the other merchants, and then uh, put down a little seating area with a loft. I got Sheffield from Diamond City. I did not ever notice until I don't think it was a video or a post I saw on Reddit that you can get him as a settler. No, I, I saw it on a Reddit post, and I did not know that this was a thing. I know you could give him a new Coca Cola in Diamond City, but I didn't know that you, he could become a potential settler. So I put him here at Nordhagen Beach, and of course I put him on charge of the soda stand. Uh, then we got my bartender, and just a lounge area out in the open. Got some roofing, if it ever gets rainy, which I think it kind of does very often here at Nordhagen Beach. Um... Let's uh, check it out with the night tour. Alright, here we are where it is now the night tour here at Nordhagen Beach. And we just got a little lighting in here with the one lantern. Uh, campfire, cooking station, slow comes Joe. Putting out a nice amount of light. And it gets a little dark in here because I didn't put any light down then. I thought it would be more lit up. Like from the inside out, but it's not really but the lounging area is nice let's actually go up and get a better look rather than just staying outside yeah this is nice everybody's just hanging out having a good time so yeah that is my Nordhagen build so Nordhagen Beach and uh, next will be Oh yeah, we'll we'll do Spectacle Island. And then we'll go to the castle and then Jamaica Plain. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and uh, stay in tune with the rest of this settlement showcase series. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.